a groundbreaking advancement in China's EUV lithography light source technology has sent shockwaves through the global tech industry. While the U.S. government was demanding that NVIDIA hand over 15% of its chip sales revenue from China, a breakthrough in a Shanghai lab had global tech giants on edge. In August 2025, the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics, SIAF, of the Chinese Academy of Sciences made a significant stride in extreme ultraviolet EUV, light source technology. Its solid target conversion efficiency surpassed 2% reaching an internationally advanced level. This seemingly small number struck directly at the heart of the global semiconductor industry. You might be wondering, it's just a light source, right? Why would this send ASML into an emergency board meeting and have the U.S. Department of Commerce scrambling to update its control list? This technology is often described as harder to build than an atomic bomb. In a world of 7 billion people, Fewer than five teams are capable of producing a qualified EUV light source. The more intriguing question is, how did Chinese researchers create this light behind the two-decade-old technological iron curtain constructed by the U.S. and Europe? And how will this breakthrough reshape the rules of the global chip industry? The war of light, why EUV is the lifeline of chips. If a lithography machine is the cash cow, of a chip factory, then the EUV light source is its heart. Extreme ultraviolet EUV light is a super ray with a wavelength of only 13.5 nanometers, one ten thousandth the diameter of a human hair. It can etch tens of billions of transistors onto a fingernail sized chip. Without this light, it's impossible to manufacture advanced chips below 7 nanometers, creating a choke point for smartphones, computers, and AI computing power. The breakthrough made by SIAFM is precisely in this. Light manufacturing technology. They used a high-power laser to bombard a tin target, achieving a conversion efficiency of over 2% under solid target conditions. Don't underestimate this 2%. ASML's EUV light source conversion efficiency also hovers between 2% and 5%, and this metric directly determines the production efficiency and cost of chips. More importantly, this means China has finally touched the threshold of the international top tier in the most critical EUV light source technology. A comparison highlights the difficulty. Only one company in the world, the Dutch ASML, can build the EUV lithography machines. Its total 2024 output was only 44 units. Each one costs 190 million euros, requires full payment up front, and has a two-year waiting list. These machines are all divided among Intel. Samsung, and TSMC, and China can't get its hands on a single one. ASML's monopoly relies on its tight grip on core components like the light source and lenses. The light source technology has long been dominated by the US company Symer, while Germany's Zeiss holds a monopoly on high-precision lenses. How ruthless is this monopoly? TSMC had to beg ASML for priority supply to produce its 5 nanometer chips. To get their hands on EUV equipment, Samsung even built a factory near ASML's headquarters. Meanwhile, China spends over $300 billion annually on chip imports, more than on oil, yet it can't even get into the door of advanced manufacturing processes. Siafm's breakthrough is like punching a hole in this airtight wall, giving the monopolists a chill for the first time. When a technology is held as a weapon by a few countries, the global supply chain becomes a lamb for the slaughter. ASML's EUV lithography machine is like a chip faucet. Whoever gets the equipment can drink the water of advanced manufacturing. Siafm's breakthrough is not just about a technical parameter. It shatters the myth that only the US and Europe can master core technologies. Behind this 2% conversion efficiency lies two decades of perseverance by Chinese researchers and a powerful counterattack against technological hegemony. Technology is not the private property of a few. Any monopoly barrier will eventually crumble in the face of human ingenuity. The technological iron curtain, how the US and Europe built the Great Wall of Lithography. To understand the importance of Siafm's breakthrough, you first have to look at how the US and Europe built this technological wall against China. After the US Chips and Science Act was passed in 2018, a precision strike, 
against China's semiconductor industry began. Any equipment using American technology now needed Washington's permission before being sold to China. The Dutch ASML became a victim of this game. Although the world's largest lithography machine manufacturer is based in the Netherlands, it was forced to stop exporting EUV lithography machines to China because its equipment uses American technology. ASML's CEO reluctantly said, We can't even show the user manual of our lithography machines to Chinese customers. The U.S. was even more ruthless, forcing its allies to join the blockade. Germany's Zeiss was banned from selling high-precision optical lenses to China, and Japan restricted photoresist exports. It was like cutting off the supply of bricks, cement, and steel for building a house. The effect of this blockade was immediate. While TSMC and Samsung were mass-producing 5 nanometer chips with ASML's EUV lithography machines, China's most advanced foundry, SMIC, was stuck at the 28 nanometer process, a gap of more than three generations. In 2023, China's chip self-sufficiency rate was only 23.3%, meaning over 70% of chips had to be imported at the mercy of others. The U.S. Department of Commerce triumphantly declared, We have successfully prevented China from acquiring advanced process technology. The breaking point, how critical is Siafm's breakthrough? So, which of the monopolist soft spots did Siafm's EUV light source technology breakthrough hit? The answer is hidden in the operating principle of the lithography machine. An EUV lithography machine requires an extremely high power, highly stable EUV light source. It's like using the most precise laser pointer to carve a pattern on a grain of rice. The slightest instability in the light will ruin the work. Before this, China was stuck at this bottleneck. Public data shows that among the top 30 global patent applicants for EUV lithography equipment, the US accounts for 10, Japan 9, and China only 1, Siafm their latest breakthrough in high conversion efficiency EUV light source solves the power consumption problem of EUV lithography machines. Every 1% increase in conversion efficiency means a more than 10% reduction in chip production energy consumption, which is crucial for mass production. Even more of a slap in the face is that while China was making this breakthrough, ASML was mired in patent disputes. Because it uses so much American technology, ASML has to get permission from the U.S. even to export older DUV lithography machines to China. China's technological path is completely independent and won't face these issues during future mass production. This is similar to when Huawei, after being cut off from Google's GMS, launched the Harmony OS system. It was a short-term struggle, but in the long run, it freed them from external constraints, reshaping the rules. Why openness is the ultimate security. The U.S. government likely didn't anticipate that the more it tried to blockade China, the more the global tech supply chain would want to get closer to it. After the news of Siafm's breakthrough broke, Samsung announced an additional $20 billion investment to expand its chip factory in Xi'an. ASML publicly stated it, will not stop exporting mature process equipment to China and even Germany's Bosch criticized U.S. technology restrictions. Behind these reactions is the collective anxiety of the global tech industry. Siafm's breakthrough makes this dynamic clearer. China is not trying to close its doors and go it alone. It's striving for self-reliance within an open environment. Unlike the U.S. Small yard high fence approach, China's technological breakthrough could actually promote global competition. When ASML knows it has a potential competitor, it will be more motivated to push for technological advancement rather than resting on its monopoly and raising prices. In 2024, ASML's EUV lithography machines saw an 11% price increase, a classic consequence of a monopoly. Competition, on the other hand, can make technology more accessible to more countries. The deeper impact lies in the reshaping of technological rules. The U.S.'s technological blockade is essentially an attempt to maintain its my way or the highway hegemony. But Siafm's breakthrough proves that technological dominance is becoming harder to sustain. The 180-ton EUV lithography machine requires collaboration from over 5,000 suppliers worldwide. No single country can do it all. After its light source breakthrough, 
China is now in a stronger position to participate in global cooperation. Just as Huawei became more willing to build an ecosystem with other manufacturers after it developed Harmony OS, this open stance is the best response to technological hegemony. After reading this, you should understand why this light revolution is so important. It not only brings China one step closer to breaking the chip blockade but also proves that open cooperation is the right path for technological development.